Today we are going to learn the advanced SNR leveling. Advanced market structure and its leveling. What do you think about it? Is in the support and resistance levels, what we learn the advanced. Yes, tell me. Anyone knows idea? Wall study with you was advanced. <laughs> yes, that was advanced, but this is more advanced. <laughs> okay. So now in this concept, logical concept, you all will be able to understand when I trade the breakout and when I trade the support and resistance. And you will understand the future movements of the market that in which direction the market will go. Mostly you saw in the market that price is moving down or price is moving up. Different structures you will see. When price is moving up, and then it's moving down and it creates a level, okay? This level is broken, but that is a fake breakout. Market moved up and then respect again, the resistance level and then move down. And again, it show you the fake breakout also, it's working for you, the strategy a strong support breakout, it's working for you, right? Here, the strong resistance or weak resistance, both are working for you. Again, price move up, it's broke. Now what you will do here? Wait for it to retest. Wait for it to retest. Yeah. Our Yes. You need to trade the breakout, a continuation or reversal. But here you will trade the reversal breakout. Why? If the two reversals at the same level, this breakout will be weak. Fake. Oh. This breakout will be fake. fake. And when price will break again this breakout will be no breakout so this is dependent upon the structure price is moving up when price is moving down and then moving up again it's working same resistance every time it's respecting and here the support is also respecting the same level. When price is moving up, now count. Which are the oldest two levels? Oldest touch is this one and this one, because these are two. And this second is re recent than this one, right? Price will work for you. When it's breaking, it will reverse back. When it will break, it will reverse back, then price move up. So one time you will get hair fake breakout and one time you will get hair breakout. But this condition, why it's different than this condition? Think about it. You sir, Making please, new low, new low. Yusuf, please, Yusuf. Mute yourself. Sorry, sir. Okay. Look at the conditions are different, right? Yes. Yes. The conclusion is what? If the two levels are equal, two reversals are on the equal level. It will give you fake breakout. Fake breakout. 
two levels are equal, it will give you now this level is equal or not? No, it is not equal, right? Here, why this level not give you fake breakout? Because previous two levels are not equal. Equal. Here it's equal, it will give you the fake breakout. This is the way where we will identify. We will trade the support, we will trade the resistance, we will trade the breakout. But also we will understand in which direction price will move. Look at here. The main favor, it's uptrend. Means who have a favor? The buyers have a favor, right? Price moved up, max high. Price moved down, a same level, support works. Again, it's broken. In which direction it is possible the price will go? Upper. Very good. This will be fake breakout because two levers are similar. Cool. And then it will move up. This time it will possible move up. And if you draw, it is a one kind of broadening wedge. Okay. Sometimes you will find this. Sometimes you will find this. Sometimes you will find these levels and understand. Sometimes you will find these levels. These all are different chart patterns. The chart patterns always give us an idea where the market will go. This market watch shall suggesting us. One point is in the favor of seller and one point is in the favor of buyer. Why? Because the price is creating the lower highs, but unable to break the bottom line. So it can be the fake breakout, then price will move up again. This price is what suggesting you price coming from downtrend, right? And then it's moving up. Where is the resistance? Now tell me, this movement is in the favor of sellers, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. The resistance the reversal is in the favor of the sellers? Yes, sir. Yes. Every time new yes. low is the favor of the sellers? Yes. The price, if the second time it's break, so many traders will be trapped that the price will move in a up direction, but it will be the fake breakout, then price will move down, right? Yes, sir. Sometimes, sometimes when I'm looking at the Forex market, what happens? It's move down, move up, move down, move up, move down, okay? then move up, break, retest, and then move up. Now everybody is thinking price will move up. Then I'm selling where? At this level, blindly I'm selling that price will move down right here. These are the simple chart patterns. Let's, we are going to discuss on the chart, but these are, these patterns for the Forex market, but we know we must know that in the binary option also that where the direction of the market to understand these patterns are also important for the binary option mostly we are using these patterns in the forex trading
here i'm going to show you some examples of the same levels okay is this is the same level right yes sir same level is it a breakout of same level yes it will reverse back okay one point a same level breakout it reverse back here this is the same level okay how many levels are there here how many time reversals happen here twice or thrice 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 thrice, thrice. Yes. thrice right yes a thrice if happen then maybe it will take one martin listed twice is twice is very strongly it will give you the immediate reversal but when it's a thrice then price will give you maybe sometimes one martin okay if one martin fails then don't try again now what are the reason of one time martin here price is what making high to lower high and similar lower high right yes these two levels are the similar am i right yes sir when it's breaking the same concept which we traded this one we will trade this one got it yes sir can we trade this breakout how many reversals are there in the breakout before only one reversal two. one this is only one right yes sir a one level breakout is very very risky a two level breakout is strong it's filtered see now when the price is in a downtrend who is strong sellers sellers, sellers. buyers are weak right yes sir so yes. if the seller is strong we are coming from the downtrend we are coming from the downtrend sellers are strong if the first level giving you breakout in the favor of the buyer it will reverse back it will reverse back but before what we will check if sellers trend is there then this breakout can be give, can give you okay here there are three to four five points but don't confuse i will clear one by one as i am getting the queries i uh, get, i am getting the examples i will clear everything don't confuse right is it a dual level it's a similar level right yes sir is it breaking yes we can trade this one okay right yes yes sir. reversal we can trade nice but nice. before but before was concept if the weak candle break in it's a weak breakout we can continue right yes sir now add this concept the filter is done yes yes okay getting my point look at here Yeah. This is a similar point. Two similar points. Yes, sir. A breakout is there. And a strong level, so it reverses. And it's reversal, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Similar points we are going to observe, right? These are two similar points. Yes, sir. If I draw level. see how much hours passed maybe one or two hours right if you find the similar point 
and if you find it's a too much late it's breaking that time don't trade this is not immediate reversals we will trade this is the filter of using this strategy sometimes you will be failed if you are using the two late points don't trade the two late points okay because now that this structure is formed it's it's called the downtrend structure in the downtrend structure down breakouts will be failed now tell me is these are the two same levels breakout same levels breakout here yes so here one trade you are failed because it's a doji and the next trade you won because of the similar level breakout okay and then come here these are the similar levels yes sir but it's a three time so the third time means we are trading the resistance level okay so these two points are similar you can count these two points as a similar point and then i will come to the structure that how we can predict the trend first i clear this point right why it's reversing back because two points are similar and why this candle not work this is a weak breakout because of the two level when it's similar your weak level also will reverse back okay here you check these levels are similar it's breaking and then it's reversing back similar levels and these two levels are similar at the similar level we saw the very weak buyer but even if the one marching and maybe you win this trade because it's a strongly moving down trend a strongly down trend is there here we are going to identify these two levels are similar yeah. when the third time it's breaking it will reverse back these two levels are similar Yes, sir. When it will break, it will reverse back. And um, just to be correct, when you said if it don't break on the third one, you just use it as regular support resistance. Once again, tell me. Um. So, oh, I'm sorry, my mic was. Okay. Okay. So on the third touch. Yes. If it doesn't break the level, then you just use it as regular support and resistance. Yes, we can use it as support and resistance. Okay. Oh wow, this whole time I was talking but my mic was yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> This point is a similar point. Can we count? Yes, sir. It's was similar. Okay? Now see, when we are taking the similar points before the trend is uptrend. so this is the sure shot trade if you are in up trend and you are trading the support breakout fake breakout if you are in a before up trend but if you are in a down trend and then you are trading resistance it is not more stronger as it is stronger in up trend yeah. in a down trend upper level breakout fake breakout is a more stronger right yes sir here there are so so many similar levels and you can see the price is respecting one time two time three time so it's a uh, exhaustion breakout so it's reversing back but now tell me what is the name of this concept anyone knows Three inside up. No. Yeah. Of structure, I think. It's called the manipulation level. Oh. This is not a manipulation from the broker. This is the trading manipulation. 
This is a trap for the common traders. Now tell me, when this breakout happens, what you will think if you are in a forex? Where you will go? Yes. Previous trend is a downtrend. You're going to continue with the trend. Definitely, or you will, you will sell, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. One point, you are in a downtrend, you are trading the sale breakout, right? Yes. Okay. At the same time, when you are here, what you are thinking? You are thinking bias make and start, right? Yes, sir. You are thinking bias make and start. I can buy from here because a long downtrend now the price is turning in uptrend. Okay. So you bought here. First, you you buy. What will be your when you are buying here on this breakout? What will be your stop loss? When you are buying at this position, your stop loss will be this level. Am I right? Yes, sir. Your buy stop loss will be this level, and when you buy, immediately price come down. Your stop loss hit. Yeah, and then goes. Up. And when it's hit, what you will do? If your buy stop loss will hit, definitely you will place a sale. Yeah. And where will be your sale stop loss? Above that level. Oh my gosh. <laughs> your sale stop loss will be hit, and then the price will move up. Then you will think, why I so why I keep the tight stop loss for this buy. Now I lose in a buy. And, and also lose in a sale. The third time, the common trader will not show you the dare. Again, he will never enter here. Right? Yeah. And then price will go up, 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 and he in a, in, a, in a fear. This is the psychological thinking point. A psychological thinking point, it's a manipulation level. The smart money traders, they can move market artificially. So it's an artificial movement. In these movements, you will never see a too much volume. Artificially, they are selling, buying, selling, buying to hit the stop losses and then move up. A big trend always you will find, a big trade always you will find it will break the similar level and then it's move up. For example, This is not a big trend, okay? But this is a big trend, right? This is. Look at here. When you sold here, where will be your stop loss? At this level, right? Yes, sir. And it will be touched and then price will fall down. Now tell me, when you will buy, for example, if you have a signal you buy here, what will be your stop loss? Below the level, right? If you are buying here, 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 below the level, your stop loss price come, hit all the stop losses and then move up. That is the psychological manipulation process. And that we are using in a single candlestick when the two levels are same, the breakout will be manipulated. The upper two levels are same, the breakout will be manipulated. And that we will take the advantage of fake breakout ready. And that we will take the advantage when the weak breakout happen and we are trying to continue, but because of manipulated breakout, we are avoiding and we are reversing the market. Getting my point? Yes, sir. Maybe a little bit difficult, but that is, the, that is very important, right? See here. This is what? Similar level, right? Similar level. And it's a breakout is a fake. Okay. And there will be so many times. This is a similar level. Okay, a breakout is a fake. <clears throat> sir. Yes. And before there is uptrend also. Yes. Also, there was an uptrend movement. And this is a now it's a it's a ranging. That was the uptrend. This wave is a ranging market, right? In a ranging market, but it's not a downtrend, right? So that's why it is more powerful. Yes, but it's not uh, breaking the week. What about the week? No, no. Only, only in this area, we are taking the similar levels, right? 
if similar yes, level yes. is we are taking from the body to body in case if the level body is lo lower for example this is the body or uh, no for example this is the body here right for now then we will take at this rate right but where the two bodies are similar see here these bodies are similar right i'm not yes. taking the rate where the two bodies are similar okay see here this is what the similar level okay and the similar level why it's moving up and not respecting the resistance level because this is not a two levels this is only a single level and this similar level is pushing up the price got it yes this resistance why it's not working because of this two level but this breakout why it's working because of two similar level right this level and this level wicks are matching to each other it means it's a similar that's why this similar breakout you can trade here okay every in every pair you will find see here every time you will get this one this is mostly similar this is mostly because this wick is also touching right mostly we can count it's similar and this is also similar am i right yes sir it's working here it's working and then this if i'm taking the last body size this level is working here is touching no so this is not here okay and because this body is the last level if i'm taking here if there is a wick then this will work for you got it yes so many examples are in the market so many when you open the three to four pairs you will find so many times similar levels maybe either some... wick or body should be close hmm? either wick or body should be close hmm. for a similar level why it's working a manipul yes. a manipulation level is breaking out and also there is a manipulation level here okay this is a manipulation level this is a manipulation level it's breaking out so you can trade this one now tell me why this is reversing back because it's a strong level a two levels are there that's why it's acting as a resistance level minimum two levels this concept is very strong concept now come here now here it's not working why how many times it's touched touched three so three avoid right if two times is there three time you can trade the resistance three time you can trade the support but three time don't trade the breakout breakout only trade the second time resistance and support if you want you can trade the third time but you can don't you cannot trade the breakout third time because mostly it's not working as i observed the third it's not working here you can see this support how many times it's this one and now in case if now this like a, this breakout two can is breakout means then you can use the wick then you can trade here you can see why this breakout is not working mr fawaz give me answer why this breakout not work it's a similar i i think so because uh, a week breakout twice here it's a thrice breakout thrice level breakout oh as i told how many levels breakout we can trade two 
and then this is a three level touch breakout okay so this breakout may not work for you only two time only two time two time maybe you forget this point and then understand this point and this is very important part why this breakout is not working alicia there's three touches it's a three touch but if it's a two touch this is working right yes sir yes. and but if we take it's a complete three touch from here then it will never work right yes sir okay um i have one question hmm. so what about if we did it from um not that first touch but the second in um well never mind i guess we would just look at it overall never mind <laughs> look at if it's a first here it's a first okay first and first first and first may it work may it not work okay. first and first may it work may it not work right yes sir but in case how many touches are there two now it will yes. work it is possible because two is there right yes sir the pressure is generated here is there any pressure which is generated no the two time a pressure generated here these seller these buyers will try here because the two time buyers failed okay then third time they will start from here and if in case these sellers will 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 test where if they failed here they will test here so understand the pressure at the level a single level upper level and single lower level means it's a very very less pressure a less pressure may it work sometimes may it not work so we are not uh, focusing on this one we will focus on this one where the pressure is generating okay now okay. the another point the another point is this one this movement for example is in the favor of sellers sellers so here we cannot ex expect any trend from the uh, from the buyer side because it will be broken and then it will move down but in case if they are similar they are similar a first breakout it is fake it will move up a second breakout will be fake then price will move up mm -hmm. right yes sir that is that is the base the base tactics this is the drop drop and that is the base technique understanding the base techniques so base technique is what it's your supply area this is your supply area always on the base you will find the demand and supply so these are the demand and supply techniques <clears throat> sir so yes brother sir on on that uh, the 8 and 8 to 10 candles will happen then the breakout happen on that concept the similar 8 to 10 candles means that the, how many will be touch like this is a so many touches right yes if the consolidation market is a strong one then it will work but if the consolidation market is not good one see if there are so many touches right yes but before there are recent touch then it will work this touch there are so many touch it not work this breakout not worked but then this breakout is work now understand what is the reason with this breakout and what is the reason with this breakout yes yes today's concept yes so this breakout means if the level is testing so many times why it's why the price is not leaving this level 
means the supply and demand is not greater than each other it means it's equal so if for long term if it's equal then definitely the breakout will be true the market will move up but before after that if again it's the same matter then it will reverse back so that's why there will be so many trade in the ranging market in a consolidation market see here <clears throat> Which breakout you will count? You will count this breakout, right? Yes. Sir. And it's reversing back. Here, this level is different. Why it is continuing? Because this, there are no two similar levels. Even it's a strong breakout, right? Yes. So your strong breakout sometimes when it's fail. Now this theory and this doubt is clear. A strong and weak breakout, if the levels are two similar levels we will pick if there is a, there is a single level we will avoid it okay <clears throat> one thing here once more sir once more as i told that as we learned in the start a strong breakout and weak breakout strategy right yes if a strong breakout and weak breakout based on this concept concept which we discussed today then yes, you need yes. to trade but if this con concept is not matching with the strong and, and weak we breakout that you need to avoid that will be your filter yes sir yes sir fine right so maybe you have a question or everybody have a question sir this is a strong breakout why it's not working right Yes. Then today, yes. topic clear that there are no two similar levels. That's why it's not working. And this breakout, why it's working, sir? Because the two levels are equal to the similar here, right? That's why it is working for you. So that is the also filter. See here. this and this level it's working with a one step but this and this level because this is touching on the breakout it's working first time right <coughs> and here it's working now if we count it's a complete level then it's a more than two breakouts that's why maybe it's not working here as i observed the two times it's working the third time it's the three support touches, then breakout, it's not working. Maybe for one, one candle, then it can work for the second candle. And sometimes if it's not working two times, then you leave it if the levels are so many. But two times if level, then you can take a one martingale step, you will win the trade, definitely. See here. This is a similar level, but this level have a difference. You see, there is the level will be counted, right? So yes, this sir. level and this level have a very different. Today, this concept I teach to every class. Because uh, this, uh, this concept is very important. I forget to teach before, but now then I, I realize that this is very important concept for you. See here, this is what? How many times touching? Two times. Two. So we can trade the resistance. If it's a breakout, we can also trade. But now how many times is touching? Three. Sir, I have a doubt. Yes. Uh, sometimes it's just a break in, like it's inside the zone of mm. those wicks or something. What do we do then? Most of yes. the time, even here. We will take uh, only like... the opening price and opening price only. We are not. Uh, can it show example? Yes, look at here. You say that, uh, sir, this is a candle, okay? And these are the wicks, right? And then yes. the second time, there is a, another support, and these supports have a bigger wick. So now, can we take the, this point and also this point? No, so, we will take only this one. Okay. Open but, interest. Got it. But, but in case, this level is this one. Okay. 
another level is this one now body have a difference but wick don't have a difference right yes now in this case you can take this wick to make it to make it a similar got it understood if the bodies have a little bit difference then in that case you can take the wick but if the bodies are similar then don't care about the wicks see here a real body is here right yes but in case if it's matching with this wick then i can take but still it's a breaking so now i'm not taking okay if i see here the open price is here but if i take this one to cover the open price and then it's wick i'm covering now it's okay this will be resistance here which i'm taking the resistance here sir we have to wait for breakout or closing what will we have to take sir hmm at the third time in the third time we have to check the closing or we have to wait for breakout definitely when this candle green candle will be closed even it's uh, giving us a breakout or it giving us uh, under the resistance it's depend upon this candle okay okay that we will wait for this okay, candle okay okay yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so there okay. there is a sir one one doubt sir yes, in the right side i'm i'm going to clear this is in which pair the buyers then buyer resistance don't trade any time right it's not it's very risky if you are trading the the resistance if the if the uh what i can say here if the structure is from the buyer's favor so if the structure is in the from from the buyer's favor then don't trade any resistance any buyer break and uh, any this breakout avoid it right if in the this is in which favor sellers at that time then avoid the sale breakouts you can trade the buy breakouts you can trade the sale breakouts but don't trade the buy breakouts if the price is similar whatever the trend is there right you can trade yes now ask brother question yes sir yes sir yes, please uh... ask the question i forget yes. not able to see the future market i am planning the market is not able to see the future market no no please uh, swipe the market area sir yes yes bar ke bhari video at that point sir at that point i am marking that point okay mark the one that point only. please come to that sk sk you are asking the question right yes sir yes sir okay in the background someone also asking okay mark now mai goli ke katla bhare to here is not that point sir after some time i will like sir you continue sir okay at the background someone is speaking two to three people they are ask uh, speaking to each other what's going on okay so that was the concept for today which we learned and then you have to practice on this concept and next time when you find this concept you can trade so this concept when the price will come back what you will do here if it's breaking if it's breaking then you will take the trade okay so this type of breakouts you can trade and supports you can trade but don't trade only just this breakout you can add the same this concept into your strong and weak support and resistance okay so as i told that every time i will add something in the strong and weak support and resistance to make it a master so this strategy you can add in the strong breakout and resistance area tomorrow we have a friday
and you have a market today and tomorrow you can trade as much as possible if you get any confusion then i will clear tomorrow i will uh, teach you about the uh, volume signals which are up thrust down thrust pseudo up thrust pseudo down thrust these four signals i will teach about the volume okay then our volume section will be complete and then we will move to the another section which is the third section in the third section we already learned about the psychological patterns and then the third topic uh, third section in which we will learn about the wicks and body reading with the volume so tomorrow we have a volume signals and day after tomorrow we will learn about the wick and body reading with the volume okay okay thank you okay, sir. sir thank you so much sir yes sir yes brother i i have a question yes ask brother i'm waiting for you yes uh, if we have like uh, four to five uh, bullish candle mm -hmm. and uh, they are getting uh, getting a momentum from price action perspective mm -hmm. but the volume is decreasing mm -hmm. and uh, they are losing momentum from uh, vsa perspective yes and vice versa so hmm. uh, can we call this is anomaly or uh, yes this is a trend anomaly yes 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 look at here four to five candles are moving in up direction price is moving again and again in up direction but the volume is decreasing after that what you found a downtrend yeah. right so right, right. seven to eight candle 10 to 12 candle five to six candle moving in an up direction and making high and high, high and high. If volume is decreasing, 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 it's a fake movement. Don't trust on these buyers. If the buyers are moving in a, and again, you can see, the next time again, buyer tried. The price is moving up, 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 up. Volume is moving down, down, down. So this is a fake movement. It's an anomaly. It is called the anomaly. A fake movement, or it's an anomaly. And when you find any seller's movement, where volume is decreasing, that will be your, Back movement. See, a three candles move down, a volume is decreasing. Then who entered? Buyer. Buyer. So this will be, you will find the three candles move in an up direction, the volume is decreasing. Then who will enter? The sellers. See. Yes. So see, this movement is a fake, that's why sellers enter. This movement is a fake, that's why buyer enter. So this is also you can combine. This is tomorrow's uh, uh, lesson where I will teach about this one. Okay, sir. Okay. One thing. Yes, brother. Uh, still, you didn't cover the validation. Mm -hmm. okay. Validation, how to trade the validation, right? Yes. The validation will work with a continuation sign. Okay. How? When the candle is a small, and when the candle is big, in this two candles, if you find the validation, we will never trade. We will never, never trade. trade. If the big candle and then the small candle, if you find the validation, we can expect the next red candle. So okay, thanks. both are validation. Both are validation. So this is a weak validation. And this is a strong validation. Why? These two candles, a big and the small, it's a sign of continuation. A small and big, it's a sign of exhaustion. Sign of exhaustion. exhaustion. This can reverse back. But it can mostly continue. But one thing, if your concept hit the two levels and then it's a validation, now tell me, is it working? Hmm? No. Is this a validation can work? No, this validation no. cannot work. Yes. Right? Right, sir. So here, this validation will not work. Why? The reversal reason we are getting from the SNR and break of SNR. 
which are the superior concept this one and this one this is the, the these concepts of validation anomaly patterns these are not the superior concept but snr it can influence each and every concept for example you are getting 100% continuation signs right but if the snr and break of snr interrupt your continuation concept will reverse back it will not work as a continuation so why i'm focusing too much on the snr i know that from you from all of you 90% they are interested in a reversal trading and they are only trading the reversals continuation only 10% they are interesting in a continuation because it's a human thinking we are always we are taking the revenge from the market so i cannot change this um, thinking that's why i'm more focusing to make you perfect in the reversal trading and when you will understand the continuation trading it's very easy as compared to the reversal trading but this is very tough and this is very difficult that's why i'm more focusing on the reversal trading as you can understand that if there is a reversal i cannot do the continuation so this is i'm trying inshallah i will be successful in this and providing this education yes okay, sir yes have any question uh, yes sorry yes, sir. Uh, sir when we have uh, supply or demand zone okay and the price uh, get rejected from uh, order block level okay uh, can we still trade this supply zone or will uh, we need to wait yes. until the price uh, close exactly as level we can trade This is breaking, right? Right. For example, it's not respecting this one. It's breaking this one. Okay. Okay. In this case, when there is a low, and then it's a lower low. Okay. We can trade. We can trade. trade. in the case when it's a supply okay when it's a equal level right right we can try it will come back but in the case when it's a lower high and it's a higher low if it's breaking the middle level at this time we cannot try yes why the structure is che it's a higher low right right and it's a low this structure is a buyer's structure here it will never work and this structure is a still down trade structure maybe it will work but when it you can trade if it's breaking wait when sellers come and again break the outer block you can sell from here you can sell from here but if you yeah. find this one even it's come back it will again break because if a higher low generated next time higher low will be generated yes yes okay so tomorrow we will discuss the examples also as well right all right sir you Thank you you. you remember me tomorrow then i will show you the candles structure also then look at here if it's a low and it's a lower low here it's working even it's breaking the outer block but here it's a low and then it's a higher low now it's breaking the outer block it's not working okay okay sir everything every problem have a solution just ask okay okay sir okay yes. thank you so much tomorrow thank we will you, discuss sir. more inshallah Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.